Hi, I'm Robert Severson, honor honorary minister of St. Louis culture. Thanks for joining us once again. We're here at the historic Casa Loma Ballroom. Let's go inside. Hey, you must be Pat. You must be Rob. I get your emails every month. Well, great. Welcome to the Casa Loma. Why don't show you much. around? Great to be here. Well, the Casa Loma goes all the way back to 1927. We're 86 years old and uh, it uh, was built as a ballroom, always been a ballroom. How long have you been the owner? I've been the owner 23 years. 23 years. So in the early days, you said Casa Loma was named after a band. Uh, what kind of bands were playing here back in the early days? Actually, all the great bands that came through St. Louis, like your Guy Lombardo, Glenn Miller, Artie Shaw, um, all the great bands. Is there is there a story about Sinatra singing here, maybe, something like that? Yes, he, he did sing here. My manager, uh, Terry, will probably be able to fill you in a little bit more on it. Frank Sinatra came here in 1943 or 44 as a young upcoming star. When the people recognized him, they begged him to stay. You got to remember back then in the 40s when they used to average over 2,000 people a night, five nights a week here. He packed 4,000 people in here. There was not room for another human being in this building. And he performed all evening for free. That stuff like that doesn't happen anymore. No, it doesn't. No, if you'd ask one of the one of the uh, know-nothing stars now to do this, they'd want $100,000 to say hello. <laughs> so these are all the bands that have played here at Casa Loma. Yes, they are. It dates back, some of them go back to the 40s and then 50s and 60s. Of course, there's Shaboom and Bob Cuban's been around for a long time. So you know, on Friday nights, we have our big band dances with the 18 to 24 piece orchestras who have also autographed the walls. And, and Saturday night, it's old time rock and roll and swing. So we've got quite a collection back here. How long have you been offering the dance lessons on Friday and Saturday nights? Luciana Martinez has been with me for 23 years and she was here, I think, 10 to 12 years before that. Which I understand we're gonna be able to try and uh, teach you that tonight too. <laughs> you can try. <laughs> then we go again, right, left, side, together. Ladies, just stay there, I'll be back. Well, you've seen Luciana yeah. dance a lot. What do you I think my chances are of keeping up with her as a novice? Luciana is really good, and she has a way of making the guys feel like they're leading when they aren't, but <laughs> she'll make you feel comfortable. Excellent. We're gonna do the basic what? Okay. So we're gonna go like four, four, we're gonna do one more, four, four, now we're gonna change direction. Back to the right, and throw on the ladies. And ladies, see eyeball on, or oops, sorry. <laughs> I was moving too. He fast. led me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now we could change our mind. So you could go forward with the left, oh. back with the right, right, right back with the right. and side together. Forward, back, right. side right. together. Yeah. See, ladies? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> ladies, come back and meet the guys, and we're going to try with the guys. Forward and back. Dancing is a sport. And like any sport, you have to take lessons, and you got to practice. Three steps, I think. Oh, wait. And you'll pick up a couple uh, easy group lessons here. You'll learn a few steps. You'll get a little confidence, and uh, hopefully you'll go on from there. Side together, yeah, okay. <laughs> Promenade. Stay side together. So this is the world famous Casa Loma Ballroom stage, huh? Yes it is. This wooden stage right here has had Bill Haley and the Comets, Sinatra, Louis Armstrong, and just imagine if you were standing here playing in front of 2,000 people. Wild. Welcome to the Casa Loma Ballroom. My name is Ryan Sheehan. I'm the director and founder of the St. Louis Big Band. I started the band because I was passionate about big band music and uh, jazz music in general. Such a new thing. 
And how large is the St. Louis Big Band? How many pieces are there? The St. Louis Big Band is a 16-piece ensemble. We have, um, we have a, a full horn section, a rhythm section. Well, sir, tell us who you are and uh, what your role within the St. Louis Big Band is. Uh, my name is Gil Salcillo, and I play tenor sax. I've been playing about 60-some years. <laughs> Castle Loma compares with the best of the ballroom that I've ever played, and it's nice to be able to play in an old-time venue like this. It uh, brings back a lot of old memories. Performing at the Castle Loma has really been moving for me. It's a historic venue. Uh, there's no place quite like it in the country. It sets people back. Uh, it brings them back to maybe an era that's not around anymore. I mean, you couldn't build this building again the way it's built now. And you see some of the new clubs that open up and, you know, they change names like we change underwear. <laughs> for me, when I get on that stage, it's moving. This is my youngest son, this is Brian. He's 10 years old and he's the assistant manager here. He's quite the dancer for his age and quite the ladies' man, I, I must say. You got anything to add, Brian? Boy, I like this. <laughs> well, Ryan, I play a little accordion and I brought mine along. I wonder if I couldn't sit in for a segment of a song somewhere during your set. What do you think? Sure, that'd be fine. We'd love to have you. All my friends come, and we can just bring in all these new people all the time. Always meeting new people. It's so easy, quick to learn. But when you meet someone new, you learn something new. What brought you to Casa Loma initially? How'd you find out about this place? She's one of the greatest dance floors in St. Louis. Yep. Just about yep. anywhere, actually. It's like no matter where you're at with how well you can dance, like anybody can go out and have a blast. So. I'm living proof of that. Do you dance at other places? Have you danced at other oh, yeah. places? Did you think that Casa Loma has those other places beat? Oh, most definitely. The dance floor is huge, and it's a, it's a very nice dance floor. The people very here nice. are great, too. Can't forget that. It's been 23 years of watching people grow up here at the ballroom for me, and it's been real, real rewarding. Thank you all very much. Let's give it up for our guest accordion player. <laughs> well, thanks everyone for watching. Thanks to the Casa Loma Ballroom for having us. And thank you, Luciana, for You're making welcome. me uh, embarrass myself in front of everyone. Uh, until the next episode, we'll see you then. So was I actually kind of the best answer that you ever no, no saw? Oh, <laughs> Thank you.